If you have a database like this, or actually a list, it might be very helpful sometimes to just filter for specific departments or hours or locations. So for instance, if I click on Boston and I do a shortcut that I will explain later, then it will tell me we have seven records filtered for Boston. In this case, it will also ask me, do you want to unhide them again? So how can you do this? There is a very simple solution and a more complicated one. The simple solution is when you have a, a newer version of Excel. All you have to do is get a button that does that for you. We are going to do this on the custom toolbar. And you can do that with the quick access toolbar. So I'm going to options. quick access toolbar and that command is not in the ribbon so we are going to add it it's not a popular command so you go to the commands not in the ribbon and then you will find auto filter and you just add that to your toolbar your quick access toolbar again this is only possible in 2007 and 10 and 13 and it's hidden in Excel 2003 but if you have an older version of it then this will not be possible but if it is possible it's a great tool if you say I want only the planning people you just go to your quick access toolbar and you click on auto filter and it will do all of that it will not tell you how many you have that is a drawback and besides you have to undo it through this button give me all the records again, clear the filter, and you got them back. As I told you already, this may not be possible if you have an older version. So is there still hope for you left? Yes. I'm going to make a shortcut to a subroutine in Excel VBA. So we go to Excel VBA. Alt F11 takes you there. And we insert a module insert a module. I have done that already so I don't have to do that anymore and I call that one filter by selection and it's basically a very simple code. You need a few variables then I check that it won't work if the cell is empty so if the active cell that you happen to be in is empty then tell the user so and exit the sub. Otherwise we are going to talk to the entire list or table around the active cell. It's called the current region with and end with. We are going to calculate how many rows do we have. We store that in R. Make sure that you type the dot. Dot rows count. So that counts the number of rows in the current region around the active cell. Then we find out what is the column. Active cell column. That I will explain later. What is the column of that one? And then we loop through all the rows, starting at 2, assuming that number 1 is the, the header row or the label row to R. If, don't forget the dot again, if the cell in row I with column number of the column you are in is not the active cell, then hide the entire row around that cell. Cells I, comma, column. Row I, column, column. Hidden is true. Otherwise, I'm going to count how many do I have. I add to what I have already. The first time that is 0, plus 1 is 1, plus 1 is 2. And then we do a next one, and it keeps doing that until it reaches the last row in the current region. And then we can tell for a message box how many records do we have. We ask the user to be user-friendly. Do you want to unhide the rows? If they say yes, then we do from the current region the entire row dot hidden equals false. So that, that should work fine. I'm going back to Excel. So no matter where you are, say you want all the planning people, click on planning and you make a shortcut. The shortcut is always done through the developers tab macros and the one filter by selection you give an option shift F and you have to accept the control key okay. so I can run it from here or do it with the shortcut control shift F 
and it tells me we have five planning records. If you do not unhide the rows, then you have to fix that later on by hand. So you just click on the All button, you select All and then right click on any row and say unhide that row. And you get everything back. That's manual work, otherwise the, the VBA code will do that for you. This is all nice and fine if your list or database starts in cell A1. If it doesn't, then we have trouble. If, if I would do it here, Control shift f then it will find nothing because it has the wrong code. Now we want to do that in case the database does not start in A1. So all we have to do is to add to this one minus dot range A1, so that is the first cell in the database itself, the column number plus one. And that should do the job. If I want the management people, control shift F, it will just give me the management people and I can unhide the records. I made it a little fancier this time. Each time I click on another cell, it automatically kicks in. So if I want a 40 hour people, it will automatically tell me it is six records. So if I click somewhere else, because I'm doing a lot of searching in all of this, then I just click on another situation. Let's say I want all the accounting people, and it will give me the accounting people. How, how did we do that? We did that, of course, with VBA. Make sure that the sheet that we are talking to in this case, that is the one that has on it on change sheet 4 in this case you are going to put there a different code select from the left drop down box the worksheet one and then it automatically kicks in with selection change each time you change your selection that will kick in so we make sure that we don't do that for an empty cell in case you are adding new records and then you call that subroutine that we had called filter by selection. So each time we have a selection change on that sheet, it will automatically do the job. Okay, so if I want a Wooster people, it will give me those. 